What's up, funky people? I'm Iteration Funk, and today we're back in Animatica 2 Expert Mode. Last week was a pretty poor week for this series. I got interrupted so many times by like like drilling noises and stuff, but hopefully I can get back to it soon. I played a lot during the weekend. That's why I have 10 buckets of UU matter. That's been running for quite some time. Also set up, um, you know, expanded this so it's not so cramped and I moved some stuff around. So the neat thing here is that we now have, like, we don't have gas storage on our network. But I have a gas terminal for mechanism gases. We have oxygen, hydrogen, ethylene and... The reason we can see them here is that I've attached storage buses around the base on these gas tanks. So this is still producing ethylene. I switched over to melons. But that's also pretty good. And yet again I'm using some uh, like chisel and bits covers here. And down here I'm exporting hydrogen from another place that we're going to check out to this gas tank. So that just Make sure this guy have hydrogen. I also, I guess we could check out the gas stuff first. This electrolytic separator is hooked up with ultimate gas tanks. And right now it's dumping inside here, but you could also set these to dumping excess if you want. But right now I'm just setting them, setting them to idle so that they can fill properly. They are also hooked up with gas storage buses, so that we can see these gases on the network. Now since we can duplicate RF tool frames and some other stuff, I noticed leaf right, that's pretty neat. Uh, we can actually make power cells now, and I cloned like... Yeah, we have, we have a bit of our stack of machine frames. That's pretty cool, so I made some advanced power cells. And you know, they are pretty easy to get. The power cell itself is pretty cheap for us. And then the advanced version. The advanced version requires infused diamond, which is dimensional shards, and that has a recipe. Uh, I think that's the default recipe. And you know, it's not that hard for us, it's only the prismarine and the nether quartz. That we don't have renewable yet, but yeah. The way these works is every single power cell that's on the same uh, link ID shares a buffer and can talk to each other. So that guy just accepts uh, power from our power matrix. And for example, if I want power here, I just have another link ID one, and then I set all of the sides to out here. So if you see up in the one probe, it says output because the cable is kind of blocking now, but you can see that there. And now I need to make sure he outputs again. There we go. And I, I just think the wire connectors look better for connecting to the cloche. So just have that connecting to the conduit here. I also added another metal press for rods because we'll need that later with like nuclear craft, fusion reactors and stuff. Uh, that's actually how we make the copper solenoids. Where is that? You sneaky little bugger. There you are. So we will need a lot of these for fusion casing later and or I guess it's the magnets. Yeah, we need a lot of these for the electromagnets. But the copper solenoids require rods. I also hooked up a, another metal former for these recipes. But we can't really do that today. We need a lot more resources in nuclear craft. So I set up a like, larger long term to do list now for the nuclear craft fusion reactor. We will need nether seeds for sifting because nether rack. Uh, let's take a look at that. Netherrack can be sifted and we get like good stuff like thorium, uh, lithium and boron. Now lithium we can also make lithium we can also make very easily. Uh, we just need 
liquid lithium and can just run that through a uh, ingot former and liquid lithium is pretty easy we just need a thermal evaporation plant which we also need for for tritium i think uh we need liquid tritium so that's that's actually lithium in a solar neutron activator so we will need to use our uh we will need to use our substrates we have here to make pellets later so we can make sheets for that activator it's just a it's a whole bunch of stuff we need to do but to get to the nether seeds that's kind of what i'm aiming for today we need a like base crafting seed and i realized that we can actually craft the blocks and i need to check these information tabs more often because i miss stuff all the time and uh, that's like specific to the pack so what we need here is quartz emerald gold and diamond which is easy but pasture seeds we need some botania uh, tech going and i did prepare some of that so i just set these up with uh this is up with the thing here so that we can easily like build on top of that so we can get all of the botana resources going but we need we need a mana pool and a way to make energy so end of flames spreader and a pool now let's see if we can make that Oh yeah, we need we need illumination powder. So where did I stash my astral? There we go. And luckily enough, it's night time, so we can put you here. And we need glowstone, aquamarine, and night ore. Do I have night ore in the system or do I need to hunt that down? Let's go check here. Mm, we have some night door. We also have some aquamarines. Let's just go up here. Oh, a bit far. So we need some glowstone. How much though? Oh, that's... We're soon out of glowstone, that's bad. Maybe we'll do glowstone seeds as well that's on the same tier and i need to tear this altar up before i can make those things anyway there's the wand sixteen should last us a while then we need lime petal block i think for the spreader let's take a look here lime now, hidden on the last page in JI, there's a duplication recipe for these, so we don't need to plant them to get the tall grass and all that. This is a bit more expensive on bone meal, but it's fine. There we go. Some petals. Lime block. And let's make a few, I guess. Maybe we want more spreaders. And one spreader. What are we missing? Ah, we can make one more spreader. We're probably gonna need it. Yeah, cool. And we'll need a wand of the forest at some point, so... Let's just make two or three twigs. And that, okay. We also need a pool that can store our mana. Manor? And uh, light grey, okay. So, let's just... Do that. Ah, okay, we're out of that. 64, very good. Need two of them. And. Oh, it's white as well. That's weird. It's one of each. Shut up. Thank you. So I guess we need one of those. Then it's. Uh, we need one rock crystal for this as well. But how do we do that? 
diluted and you. Okay, that's a mana pool. It's way <laughs> more expensive than the default recipe, but not that bad. So, where were we? Britannia. We also need End of Flames, but let's just set this up here for now. So let's like make them face the pool with the wand. And we need End of Flames. So seed, bucket, and what colors do we need? It's usually two brown, one red, and light gray. Now I think I stashed all of my light gray here. And then we need to get some more red and some more brown. Gonna do a whole lot of that real quick. Okay, that's everything. So. Then we can just refill that. And drop seeds, I guess. So the apothecary remembers recipes as long as it's recent, and then you can, you know, just right click empty hand and drop seeds. So it's not that bad. Oh, that's a steak. Okay then. Okay, that's nine for now. I'm not sure what the quest wanted, but that's done. So you will get four, and you will get four. Should be linked correctly. And I guess we'll throw you some coal for now. I'll set up a dropper later, but we just need a small amount for the pasture seeds, I reckon. Uh, it's one of the cheaper recipes. One of the cheaper recipes in Botania, we should be good. Like, if I hold this... Oh wow, maybe not that cheap then. So, if that's not super quick, why don't we just automate the dropping of coal, I guess. Now, I usually go with a pretty simple setup, I think. We can probably hit both camps of End of Flames here if we're good. So, let's see, if I do this... So the idea is to deactivate the hopper if there is coal on the plate. So we just need to grab some blocks here. Stone preferably, which is pretty neutral in this setting. And I think it's something like this, no? Yeah, I think it's... Okay, so I think stone is only for players. Yeah, this is for items. So if I put some coal here now, it should only drop one. We can see there's one here. And... Hmm. Maybe I'll move these. So they're a bit closer to picking that stuff up. There we go. So the end of flames eat the coal and then like the pressure plate deactivates and let the hopper, uh, it will let the dropper drop new coal. So whenever I like, you can see when I pick this up, simulating the end of flame eating it, it will just keep dropping. So that's the easiest setup I know of, just keeping the end of flames fed. Let's see now. Can we? Wait, do we need like something special under you pasture no then what are you just super super expensive oh i'm i'm stupid we need grass not seeds so that was silly of me but uh, we're good so not the uh, like most expensive recipe but we need one rock crystal per two prosperity blocks, so that's the expensive part of this anyway. Well, uh, yeah, that's good. It's a small setup. Okay, back at the base, let's see. Hmm, okay, we need like 
some emerald blocks. Let's do a few. Some diamond blocks. And we should have some quartz. Cool. And then... Voila. Two blocks of prosperity. Which is... Good enough for us. <laughs> we just need... Some shards to make a seed. And we'll need like... Let's make three. Okay. Make four. We could do a tier 1 crafting seed, which is what we want right now. I don't think we have another use for this really. And I huh, guess all of our inferior is up by the mob farm. Let me grab some here. Now, to create, create the nether seeds, I'm not sure if we can make that this episode. Um, no. We probably can't. But we need a tier 3 crafting seed, which we can do straight away. But we do need uh, essence tier 2. So any of the tier 2 essences here to make the nether seeds. And then, you know, these edge blocks determine what seed it is. We have a lot of different seed recipes in here with various tiers. But let's start by getting some essence from tier 1. So. What do we want here? Like water seeds is pretty... I don't think we need that. We have an infinite water source. We're already making kind of infinite clay here. Hmm, ice. Zombie? Yeah, we need mob shanks for that, but nature... Can we do four of these? I think nature is the way to go. And then we need... Oh, we need... you. We need Inferium Ingots. That's... Okay, we can't do that one. We are pretty much out of Prosperity Shards. Let's just do Stone. I guess that's... A good middle ground. <laughs> now, let's uh, steal a Cloche for you. Pretty much... Done with Cactus for the time being. Let me... Place it over here instead. Yoink. Need a new drawer for essence. I don't think we can get extra seeds in. I don't think you can get extra seeds in the cloche. We need to use the phyto phytogenic insulator to actually get extra seeds. But this is fine. Where's dirt? Oh. <laughs> you think things can grow in the cardboard box? I don't think so. Stone seeds and let's steal from fertilizer. From fertilizer? I can't speak today. I mean, in the rare event that I can speak properly, yeah, it's once in a blue moon, but we get stone essence. And soon this will pick up. Now, this means we could get some tier 2. Tier 2 seeds, which then means we could get the nether seeds. So what tier 2 seed do we want? Tier 2 inferior seeds doesn't sound so shabby, but I want appetite I think, because we will need to feed a lot of cloches appetite, or you know, the fertilizer later on. And we got copper and aluminum covered by our sifters and stuff, so yeah, appetite. So, okay. I think we're out of rock crystals. Is it night? Hmm. So what we can do while we wait for the night time, because we need to find some more rock crystals to tear up the altar. Do we have some starlight? We do not have starlight. Yeah. So what we can do meanwhile is just taking like half of the supremium and getting some superior. Maybe taking half and then some of superior and turn it into intermediate. And I want to be careful about... Wait, did I just... Oh, I, I shift clicked, so we used all of the supremium. That's not that good. <laughs> Let's just make two stacks of this though. So hopefully this is enough. We need four of these to tear it up. Then for the nether seeds we need 
four blocks of intermedium. Which we can do, I think, without issue. So I don't need a Master Infusion Crystal yet, since we had some Supremium for, from killing the Wither. But we'll need to do this at some point, and this is pretty easy. Well, no, we can get Terra Steel from recycling the gear we get from killing mobs, which I need to set up at some point. But we still need to be able to make resonating gems and these higher tier runes in Botania, as well as trading for Elementium. And I'm still not sure if we really need a laser for the Amethyst. I'm not sure if that's the only way to get this. And, you know, the only... Yeah, this is a tier 6 seed. Wow. But we have night time, so let's just grab our wand here. And find a node. Here we are. Oh wow. I'm I think there's only one ore, but we got uh, got a good amount. Let's uh head up. Can we make the resonating gems? No, we need to do the starlight infuser in this pack. I'll meet you back up there. <laughs> need to pillar up. Quite some bit, and let's switch this over to cobblestone. Okay, put those away. Where is our light well? I thought I probably put that away. Where is it up here, dude? Where's my light well? Maybe it's. Uh... Hmm. We need to check the magic chest. I think. Are you here? Okay, I guess we're doing a new light well then. And let's grab some aquamarines. I think I have some in the drawer, but this is probably fine too. Oh wow. So we'll get us stuff we need, the starlight. Most of this the rest away. Yeah, attacked. Now I think I need a flatter area here and I made a builder and some void cards. We can't really make the quarry card because there's some extra stuff to that, like we need the cell frame, which is yeah. It's it's this whole thing. Let's just grab a cell. And I should keep linking cards in my bag, I think. Just keep the rest here. So, let's say we want to void things, we power you. Uh, yeah, you're not linked yet. There we go. Then we need to specify an area. So maybe 55, 24, 55. And then we need to show that area. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Neither do we don't. Neither do we do. Do we do do do? I don't know. We don't want to do this either. This I think we might want. And I want an offset like 27. Maybe that's the one. Mm, 23 maybe. Yeah. So, screw the terrain, right? I'm actually going to flatten this because Astral needs loads of multi-blocks and I think it's pretty hard to follow the terrain when it comes to this stuff, so we'll just flatten a whole big area for this. Now, is anything important in this area? I think we're clear. I haven't built this high yet. Mm, let's make you. Let's focus on upgrading this before our night time disappears. In the night door. Let's see. Rock crystal. Pillars. And I think it's this, right? Let's try a rock crystal in there as well. 
yeah. Do your thing. And you can also do your thing. That's just gonna void out everything here. I wonder how expensive that is in RF per tick. No idea. But it's uh, doing its thing. Oh, it's stocked over here. Let me get rid of those. And this might be the <laughs> perfect time to make a sponge from open blocks again. Or did I save my sponge? I know I had one when I retrieved one of like my death items early on in the pack. Maybe they get consumed. Let's uh, get rid of this stuff. We don't want the water really. Oh. I think that got rid of most of the source blocks. Over here as well. And maybe here. Man, there's this portion I can't get to easily. Okay, that dropped down, but I'll collect that later. Let's just do this for now. Oh no, it normalized. Or did it? Where's the water coming from? Uh, I usually don't have to do this, but this, this will be fine. No, I really want to get up back to that place. Thank you very much. Well, that's dissipating. Uh, I think maybe over, we need to go over here. I must have missed. I think this might need to be a bit higher. How gloomy is this? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's gonna spawn mobs, I think. Let me get over to the other water location and we'll fix that too. Oh, and I need this sponge. Be gone, water. We don't want you. And... Jesus, how fast does he move? Okay, goodbye. That's all of the water. Now... Are you quite done already? That seems unlikely, right? Where is it done? Oh yeah, we totally need to light that place up. Mm, guess it's done. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just bump this up a few to get rid of that ceiling. And scanning like empty blocks. Oh no. Okay, it went down. So five blocks down. Will that take out any of my stuff here? Maybe, I don't know. Let's uh Let's do that. I need to check this area out. Okay, so as well, we need this to go up. Maybe you're up now. Yeah, okay, so that's the same. That's the same location. And it should take out that thing now. Okay, you can go again. Now let's bump it like three more in this direction, maybe two. Now let's do three. And it should also take out these things over here. There we go. How about that? Not really building with the terrain in this uh, particular instance, but it will be fine. I guess some zombies died here. Let's just send that back to the system. And we'll set this up. Let's try if we can do that with uh, this thing. So you are. The Starlight Crafting Altar, which uh, tier is that? Starlight Crafting Altar... Yeah, that looks pretty good. So let's just move you back into a corner for now, we'll move you... ...later. And that's the wrong key. Move back. Okay. So something like... ...this. And it has a clear view of the sky. Uh, I think this is good. We need some arches though. Marble. We need a chisel for that. 
uh, arches. Okay, let's check our tally here. We need six more marble bricks, six more marble bricks, and twenty-one sooty marble. So sooty. Oh wow, we don't have that much sooty. Now we have, and we need some more marble bricks. We can actually just craft. So that's not all bad. Now are you satisfied? Hmm. I really like Schematica. Actually lessens the pain of building multi-block structures so much. You too? You too. And he's pretty happy with that. So now to use these we need a tier 2 crafting seed. And so we'll just tear that up to tier 2. And then we need one to be tier 3 for the nether seeds later. So okay, that's done. And yeah, I still need to unload this. I always forget. There we go. Perfect. So we wanted to do appetite. So let's put stone here. Then the Prudentium Essence, and we needed Appetite Blocks in the corners, I think. And that should be pretty easy. Here we go, can we make... How much Starlight do you need? Haha! That's Tier 2 Seeds. Now we'll put that in a cloche so we get some of this Essence, and then we should be able to use it for... Uh, you know, the red nether seeds, which are here. So any essence tier 2 and then nether wart intermedium. Yeah, we can do this pretty soon. That's perfect. I didn't think we would get this far today. So let's put this uh, appetite guy in the cloche down here. Oh wow, you're not that bad. Now let's store this so we have some tier 1 essence when we need to tear up later. That couldn't be a bad thing. And then, oh wow, we get, get 16 appetite for free harvest here. And that in turn is, let's see, 16 times 8. So we get 128 fertilizer every free appetite essence. That's, look, we already have 256 fertilizer. This is going to be great. And... I know this is getting a bit long, but I think we can manage this. Let's see. Can we do wart? We just need like four blocks. Perfect. Ah. Haha. <laughs> Nether seeds. Excellent. Anyways, that's everything for this episode. We got the nether seeds. I always want to say nether star seeds, I'm not sure why. And apparently we can't see the cable in the third person. Where are your cable? Or the wire. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you really enjoyed the episode, you can hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Take care and stay funky.